masonry, screed, electrics, and much more. Building a solid house is complex. How does it work? How is a solid house built? We were involved in every important work step and accompanied the construction of a typical single-family house for more than six months. In the first part, earthworks and floor slabs were carried out. In part two, the masonry. Now the roof is on. The concrete of the ring anchor has hardened. The roof can come. The carpenters first put the so-called purlin. The beam construction runs around the entire upper wall edge. It forms the basis for the roof structure and carries the roof truss elements. The construction follows exactly according to plan. The roof truss is planned and made to measure for each house by a specialized timber construction company. The carpenters must set up the roof structure exactly on this basis. It starts with the largest roof truss elements, the hip trusses and the fink truss. Then come the heiress, the corner truss elements. Of course, the straight alignment is always important. If everything is correct, all elements are fixed together with up to 20 cm long wood screws. It continues with the so-called mono-triangle trusses, which are attached to the front of the house and run towards the ridges. Two mono trusses come in the corners. The same thing happens on the back. The roof shape of the house is a hip roof and can already be recognized by the roof structure. Typical of the hip roof, the symmetry. Identical looking roof areas on all four sides, each with the same roof pitch. It's 24 degrees here. There is no upper roof edge, called the ridge. Instead, the roof surfaces converge in a point. But there is something special about this house. The roof fold at the front. For this, the roof truss is extended by a so-called dormer. As a last step, the carpenters set the so-called end boards, as a finish and cladding for the roof overhang. After a working day, the roof structure is ready. A breathable roofing membrane comes over the roof structure. It protects against wind, dust and moisture. 
Due to the micro-pore structure, water vapor and moisture can be removed from inside the house. The counter battens come via the roofing membrane. And above it the roof battens that carry the roof tiles. The unobstructed space between the roof battens and the roofing membrane is important. The roof tiles are then ventilated and moisture is removed. The roof of the bloodhouse is prepared so far. The roof tiles can come. A so-called flat roof tile made of fired clay with a matte black glazed surface is used. For each of the four roof areas, approximately 32 square meters each, approximately 300 bricks are required. A total of around 1200 pieces. With a weight of approximately 4 kg per tile, coming in total almost 5 tons of brick mass on the roof. After 5 hours, all the bricks are up. But before the work continues, we have to say, long live the house. There is something to celebrate. Today is the topping out ceremony. An important tradition that should not be missing when building a house. Neighbors, workers and friends come together. Wish all the best for the future house. and everyone is eagerly awaiting the verdict. The house is now situated. From the base to the ridge. Nothing is missing, so we have now put the crown on the building. And I wish everyone around me health and happy courage and everything ends well. Now the builders are in demand. They have to hammer the last nail into the entablature. Now I come. <laughs> and of course the three also have to toast the house. And then for the good of the builders and their happy future. The glass then with smack on the floor. It has to shatter, otherwise it will bring bad luck. The buffet is open. Have fun. The builders did not allow themselves to be ripped off. There is grilled meat, soups and lots of drinks. And how do guests like the house? That's good. Would you also move in there? Yes, exactly, I have already submitted an application, I wanted to move in here yesterday, but I'm not allowed to. Um, My rooms are a little different and a little bigger. But in principle it's not that bad. <laughs> Yes, very nice. So our suitcases are already packed. Well, so well that could soon be cozy in the new house. And how are the builders? We are really happy, because it went so quickly. They did a really good job. The construction workers and everything went very well. Yes, that it stayed as planned. Now we have come together, and we are totally happy. That sounds good. The topping out ceremony was also a success and continues well into the night. Now there is peace in the building. Weekend. The roofers will be back on Monday morning. First, they install the so-called ridge slats. Here on the edges, where two roof surfaces meet each other, the ridges serve to cover the tiles on the butt edges. For that, the ridge tiles will come over the ridge slats later. The roof tiles are now of course also laid. 
However, the weather was getting worse. The rain became so heavy that the work had to be stopped. The next day the weather is better and the roofers have already been able to cover a large part of the roof. The laying principle is simple. Thanks to the interlocking system, the bricks mesh perfectly. This creates a closely interlocking, dense, firm and stable roof covering. In addition, roof clips are also placed so that the roof can withstand the heaviest storms. The ridges are almost done too. A polypropylene fleece with folded aluminum edges comes over the slats. Optimal for the rear ventilation of the ridge roof tile, which are now placed over it. Final spurt for the roofers, the last roof tiles. The bricklayers are also on site again. They put the last chimney elements. The chimney has grown with the house bit by bit and has now reached its final size. Finally, the chimney cover is on top. Finished. The rain finally stopped the next day. The best conditions for the last work on the roof. The chimney is also clad. This way, it is well protected from the weather. The cladding with tiles, like this one, looks the most elegant. But it also does a lot of work. Each plate comes individually to the chimney. The insulation is now almost completely in the roof. Since the roof is not occupied, the insulation does not have to be between the rafters, but comes into the bottom cord level. As you can see well from the outside. Of course, the roof overhang is still covered. For this, the carpenter is on site again, who sets the boxed eaves. The roof is finished after a week. Including the chimney cladding, gutters and roof hatch for the chimney suite.